for his passing a slower car, the number 22 of Jerry Niemeyer. Jerry, who we call for the second in that qualifier's race earlier today. Now Sheldon Kitzer has begun to stretch out the advantage over Joe Saldana, and the advantage is now is almost a half a straightaway. So Sheldon Kitzer dominating the activity here in the first fourth of this 100-mile race. Sheldon Kinzer, as they say in regards to dirt track racing, high, wide, and handsome, continues to use the cushion as the smoke from Roger Rager's car continues to obscure from time to time certain sections of the racetrack. There is the seventh running car, making six now, of Larry Rice. Larry Rice is with Keith Kaufman. Keith Kaufman, the Eastern driver who has won so many times out at the Susquehanna Speedway in Pennsylvania, had been holding Rice off for a while, but Rice, the defending champion, now moves into fifth position, but yet has been able to shake Kaufman. Kaufman hangs on, choosing the low road down by the rail. We have gotten rid of the badly smoking car of Roger Rager, and now a car is smoking very badly on the racetrack. That is the number 12 of Emmett Hahn. Hahn is smoking badly out there on the racetrack. Larry Rice in fifth position and Keith Kaufman in sixth here. We've completed 18 laps of 100. The leader continues to be Sheldon Kinzer. Running in second is Joe Saldana. Third place belongs to Ron Schumann. In fourth is Mark Alderson. And fifth is the number one driven by Larry Rice. Well, Gary Irvin made a pit stop a few laps ago because of a flat tire. We are happy to report that Gary Irvin is back in competition out there as the number 12 car that I referred to just a few seconds ago, Emmett Hahn, is still back in the pit. So we have now gotten rid of both of the cars that were smoking very badly on the racetrack. Here is the leader, Sheldon Kinzer. Also, very disappointed to report that Doug Wolfgang, the outstanding outlaw sprint car driver from the upper Midwest, there he is, in the Bill King number 75. Wolfgang had been running approximately in 10th position, but his race looks like it will have a premature ending. Wolfgang comes to a stop in the designated pit area here on the one-mile dirt track at Springfield on the inside of the front stretch. There is the back stretch, entering turn number three. The leader, Sheldon Kinzer, goes by, just barely lifting that left front wheel off the racetrack. You can see it spinning. He is not hiking that wheel as high as we have seen other cars lift them off. And normally, at this time, when that wheel spins about half the time down on the ground, and that car is handling quite well. It's been pretty much a Sheldon Kinzer day here. He set a new track record in qualifying. And once again, we go back and pick up this battle for fifth position. It has been a Sheldon Kinzer day. He broke the track record in qualifying and has led so far all the way here in the race. Earlier this year in championship dirt car competition, Sheldon Kinzer finished 10th at Eldora Speedway in Rossburg, Ohio, 23rd at the race held earlier here in Springfield as we see a piece of debris on the racetrack in turn number three that is a tie rod. However, it is up in the cushion and not in the area that most of the cars will run on. We will see if this necessitates a yellow flag. And Sheldon Kinzer's other performance on the uh, dirt car trail, a fifth place finish at the Indiana State Fairgrounds. There is Ken Schrader who came into today tied for the points lead in that car number 39. Ken, uh, who did not get as quick of a qualifying time as he had hoped, started uh, way back in 16th position. He has improved himself tonight having gotten by in recent laps, the number four car of Rick Hood, the number 26 car of Dana Carter, and Rich Vogler at number two. Schrader was running the cushion, but now he's down in the bottom of the racetrack. And I tell you, the car does not look perfectly healthy to me. It's difficult to ascertain, however. Schrader may simply be uh, trying to conserve his car. The caution is coming out, I think, for the debris in turn number three. So the first yellow flag of the afternoon is displayed by the USAC officials here at Springfield, and the cars will slow down and bunch up. The pace car will come on to the racetrack. Our first yellow of the afternoon. 
so as the cars get themselves in order, we will be able to give you an exact rundown here on how things are going. We believe that this yellow is caused by the debris. Yes, it is the debris on the racetrack. We also understand that the number 93 car of Bob Sacconi from Prospect Park, Pennsylvania, has blown an engine, and there may be debris from that in turns one and two. 24 laps have been completed. We're almost a fourth of the way finished. The first four cars, Sheldon Kinzer, Joe Saldana, Bobby Olivero, and Ronnie Schumann. It's back out. This caution period was caused by debris on the racetrack, both in turns three and four, and in one and two. Bob Sacconi dumped an engine and scattered parts in turn number one and two. And there was a tie rod lying in the middle of turn number three. Sheldon Kinzer back on the button in turn number three. But you can see he's getting close competition from Bobby Olivero, who's working the inside of the racetrack off of turn number four. Oh, Bob, uh, Mark Alderson had a very fast turn the last time around. Alderson, who has been running in fifth position, got way high. Drop back behind Keith Kaufman, but the guy that I'm beginning to watch is Rich Vogler. Vogler runs in ninth position right now. He just got around the high side of Ken Schrader. It makes him now an eighth. There is Vogler in that black car on the left-hand side of your screen. Rich Vogler has begun to move since this rejuvenated green flag after a delay for debris on the racetrack. We've been watching Rich Vogler for several laps now. Rich started this race in 14th position, did not qualify particularly well, but has moved up nicely now into the top 10. Rich Vogler driving car number two, and here is a battle for the lead between Sheldon Kinzer and Bobby Olivero. Olivero got down to the inside of Kinzer, but saw that that was not the correct groove to be taking. Olivero got off the accelerator just a moment and joined Kinzer in the high groove, and here they come down the straightaway. We have completed... laps have been completed. Kinzer and Olivero are running first and second with Joe Saldana third and still fourth is Ron Schumann in car number 21. Well, Bobby Olivero, a former national champion of this division, runs the car that was put together by A.J. Watson. And Watson, of course, also put together the engine. And there's a guy who has probably put together more winning engines for dirt car racing, particularly on the miles, than any other mechanic here. So Olivero is not at any time going to be hurting for horsepower. Also notice that Olivero is choosing a run down on the rail. It's normally a little more safe down there. You've got to be careful not to hit the inside wall but the cushion is where you're on the edge of the brink of disaster. Track is held up very well, but Larry, I recall a comment from Sheldon Kinzer in a sprint race at Terre Haute. If that cushion gets pushed out too far, we are driving a much further distance around this racetrack than a driver who is using the inside groove. So if that cushion continues to be pushed out, then the inside groove is going to be the faster. Right now, it is Sheldon Kinzer who is using the outside groove and maintaining the lead as Olivero broadslides off of turn number two and got the rear end of that car very close to the wall. Mark Alderson in the white car number nine and Larry Rice in car number one. Mark Alderson runs in sixth position right now, the former daredevil stunt driver who turned his attention to the tournament racing about seven or eight years ago. Was a surprise qualifier here. Alderson threw the number 18 position for qualifying by turning in the third quick time. And right now, he's doing battle with Larry Rice. Incidentally, the fourth fastest qualifier here today was Larry Dixon. But because of a contractual agreement that he had with the previous car owner, he was obligated to qualify another car. And unfortunately, that car broke down before Dixon was able to qualify fast enough. So Larry Dixon tied to the point lead coming in. He's not a starter today. the nation are here. Here's the breakdown as far as states are concerned. We have five drivers from Indiana, 
three from Illinois, three from California, three from Pennsylvania, two from Ohio, two from South Dakota, and one driver each from Wisconsin, Minnesota, Texas, Kansas, Missouri, Arizona, Texas, and Oklahoma, and Bobby Oliveiro from Lakewood, California, has taken the lead from Sheldon Kinzer, at least momentarily. Bobby Oliveiro in car number 16 takes over the lead on lap number 37. Make that lap number 38. So Oliveiro in car number 16, Bobby started this race in 12th position, has moved up to the lead on lap number 38. Kinzer drops back.